How to Help the Earth by the Lorax with Trish Raby, illustrated by Christopher Maroney and Jan Girardi. Hello, I am the Lorax. I speak for the trees and the fish and the birds, and I'm asking you, please, to help the earth out. I'm counting on you. Together I know there's a lot we can do. First, I have a question and I need to ask it. Do you know where trash goes that's in your wastebasket? It goes out to the curb, then a dump truck comes by, heaped with big piles of trash that are smelly and high. Some days after that, these big piles of trash will be buried or dumped in a giant landfill. Some of the garbage that's dumped there will rot, but most of the garbage that's dumped there will not. Some cities burn trash, but this trash solution creates lots of smoke, which creates air pollution. The good news, things don't have to go on this way. We can reduce trash. We can start right away. Take your lunch in a bag, but don't throw it away. Use the bag or a lunchbox again the next day. Use both sides of your paper, and I have no doubt there will be much less paper for you to throw out. When you've read magazines and you no longer need them, pass them on to your friends so they'll get to read them. Rather than tossing your old clothes, toys, and shoes, donate them their things other people can use. Put your used soda cans in a recycling bin, rinse them out when they're empty, and throw them right in. They'll be made into new cans. This can I have here is made from old cans I recycled last year. Paper clips, rubber bands, buttons, and screws are things you will find that are easy to reuse. Put these things in a drawer so they're all in one place. They'll be easy to find and won't take up much space. When dead batteries are dumped, this fact I have found, the chemicals in them leak into the ground. Use rechargeable batteries, charge them, and then, when they run out of power, just charge them again. In helping the earth, you can take it from me. We need to find ways to use less energy. Energy powers cars, it creates heat and light. Made from gas, coal, and oil, we burn day and night. These are natural resources, and there is a limit to how much of them our whole earth has within it. We need to use less, and I just have to say, there are ways to use less energy every day. When you leave a room, stop and turn off the light. Be sure to turn off your computer at night. When it's cold, wear a sweatshirt and take the time, please, to turn down the heat just a couple degrees. When you're doing your homework or starting to read, sunlight through a window may be all that you need. Animals and plants, all things alive, need to have water. It's how we survive. So water is something we need to save too. There are ways we can save it. I'll show you a few. When you get up each morning and stand at the sink, and start brushing your teeth, take a moment to think. A lot of clean water is going to waste while you reach for your toothbrush and squeeze on toothpaste. Right down the drain, this clean water is going, so turn off the faucet and stop it from flowing. Spend less time in the shower and you'll still get clean. Try a four minute shower, you'll see what I mean. To help the earth out, please do something for me. Find a place that is near you and then go plant a tree. Trees provide shelter and oxygen too. So plant lots of trees, it's what I always do. If we work together, the earth will get better. The land will be clearer, the soil will be wetter. The sun will shine brighter, the trees will be greener, the sky will be bluer, the air will be cleaner. And next time I speak for the trees, fish, and birds, I know in my heart I'll need only two words. For all that you've done, and for all you will do, I am the Lorax, and I say a great big thank you.